Before the opening bell, U.S. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they were mixed on Tuesday. Shares in capital goods, transportation, food, beverage, and tobacco sectors, they were under pressure. This while shares in the healthcare equipment and services sectors, as well as tech hardware and equipment sectors, they were seeing some strength. While on the economic docket, we had CPI rising 1.5% year over year in February. The NFIB Small Business Optimism Index that rose to 101.7. This all as 67% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Boeing is in the headlines still after the FAA issued a statement on Boeing 737 MAX stating, thus far, our review shows no systemic performance issues and provides no basis to order grounding the aircraft. Turning overseas, Asian markets, they were down today. The Nikkei down 0.99%. The Hang Seng down 0.39%. China CSI 300, that was down 0.83%. And South Korea's Kospi down 0.41%. This while European markets, they were edging higher. And U.S. futures calling for a slightly positive start. Now on the earnings front this morning, the docket is empty. So we go straight to the economic calendar. 8.30 in the morning, we have January durable goods orders. And then we also have February PPI read. Then at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have construction spending. Taking a look at the markets now, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees the buyers remain bullish, while the Nasdaq sees its target level at 7,300, and that's in focus. The relative strength index is bullish and calls for further upside. A symmetrical triangle, which is a bullish continuation pattern, has been validated and is calling for further advance. Long positions above 7,187 are favored with targets at 7,270 and 7,300 in extension. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones, that sees a rebound in sight.